Let me just start with right off the bat. I didn't even look at it yet, but in three days and three nights, game over, Jonah, two hours ago. It's 8.49 p.m. June 2nd, 2023. And just in, in my last video, and that just looks like my house. Right here, you have uh, Joe Biden. Obama bin Biden. Obama bin Biden bin Biden. So that was 22 hours ago. Obama bin Laden. Hey, bro, it's me. It's me. Hey, can I be your buddy? Barack, hey, hey, buddy, buddy. Can I, hey. Welcome, everyone. So I'll get back to that. Um, papyri from Rome or from Greece or from uh, er areas of the Middle East thousands of years ago, you'd find a similar salutation in every one. But what Paul does is a little bit differently. He combines two different salutations and then he tweaks them. This is what I mean. He uses the common Greek greeting for rejoice, charis or kare, which means rejoice or grace. And then he uses a Jewish greeting translated into Greek, irene, which is the Greek equivalent for the Hebrew shalom, peace. So the Western greeting, grace, rejoice, the Jewish greeting, shalom, peace. June first. It's beautiful because Paul's theme of the book is bringing Gentile and Jew together. That's the mystery unfolded. And it's even in his salutation. He's taking the Greek pagan, the Jewish shalom, bringing them together and giving a greeting. And by the way, when Paul writes these salutations, it's always the same. Grace is always first, peace is always second. You can never reverse the order. You know what? Okay, I love you guys in Christ. Peace and grace. Why? You'll never experience the peace of God until you understand and experience the grace of God. So does that make what Jonathan Cleck does the exact opposite of Paul? The grace of God must deal with sin so that we as sinners can experience his peace. Hence the salutation, grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Example. I suppose John could have said, in the future a dictator will come and rule the world. But he didn't. He said instead, and I saw a beast rising out of the sea. Boy, that is strong. He could have also said, there's coming a day when evil will be rampant against believers. But he didn't say that. He said, I saw a woman drunk with the blood of the saints. Powerful, emotive language. There was a sea, like the, the laver, sea of glass. like a sea of glass on the sea. As the number of the sand of the seashore. So John goes to the door of heaven and he sees a sea of glass. So there's, here there's a piece of glass, there's a boat. As Jacob's pointing to the boat, get on the boat, get off the boat, because that's what you do at a roller coaster ride, you get on, you get off. Well, that's interesting because you see a sea is what you see. You have a sea of water here, so it's liquid. Here, so you have a 
You have a sea of water here. You have a sea of water here, representing over here, because really the glass, the piece of glass is right there. And the sea of water is up here. And it ends here. In heaven, it's a sea of glass, and you can you can walk on it. But that's like in heaven. John said, "I saw the door when went through the door. There was a sea like a." Laver a sea of glass. So here, here's a, here, so refresh your memory a little bit. The Ark of the Covenant and the Tabernacle had been in Shiloh in the middle of the country for years. Remember when they gave me a shout out, Shiloh at Robin on October 21st, 2019, with the tornado collect. I was predicting Home Depot natural disaster that happened. I was pointing to the Home Depot hat and then the next day tore through home tore through Home Depot October twenty first, twenty nineteen. Home Depot employees sent home minutes before tornado. I mean, I tried to warn them, but I know what it is. I don't think you can take me serious with a face like that. So, it's usually by design that nobody's really going to take you serious. So this is three years ago, well, it's almost four. October 20th, 2019. It was, oh, thanks, man. Yep, good to hear from you, too. Sorry it took three years to get back to you, but I'm listening to Rob, and I will be on watch because I'm a gypsy lady. Aladdin, it's a whole new world, or is it? Hi, guy. Hi. How's it going? Everything is going by the law of God, not man. Facts. Jessica says it. Several people died. Their bodies were not recovered. But yeah, well, that's what they said. They blew the cranes yesterday. They didn't go as planned. Scariest movie ever channel made a video about 11-11 and that it's coded in the new Joker movie and Nordstrom was selling 85. Trump was uh, about a few rocks a few, a few years back. Didn't I get the same color in the rock and, the, and, and it was wrapped in leather. Yeah, man. It's halftime. Almost Dallas 24 to Eagle 7. No sign of Cleck. Huh. You think so, Rod? Roddy? Kate? No, oh, wait a minute. Is that Home Home Depot? Home Depot. I'm not very good at typing fast. So I'm saying, you sure about that? How about Tornado Click that hit the Home Depot in Dallas the same night? I'm going to pin that one because I don't know. Or can I? Well, anyway, so anyway, here's what I said the day before. You see this says October 21st, 2019, Home Depot employees sent home. What am I saying here?
trying to think of which way to go. Yesterday. Today's the 21st of October, 2019. I caught in that storm or right after it when there was debris on the road. One of them driving that gray car you see on the right side of your screen. Damage to some Garland neighborhoods as well. This is near Shiloh Road, north of LBJ Freeway. There are trees down, many homes with roof damage. Garland police say they have no reports of any serious injuries, however. And a tornado, pretty clearly. I don't think we need to say may have. A tornado hit northeast Dallas last night. Yeah, we the video, yeah. 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 So there's no question a tornado hit. Dallas, Texas. It hit, it hit a, a, a tornado hit. It hit a Home Depot. The day before, it's almost like Robin here had some inside knowledge as to what would happen at Home Depot the next day and um, during the Eagles and Dallas Cowboys game. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, the damage here in this area is evident before you ever get to this Home Depot. You can see this entire section here around Forest and Central is dark. Everywhere I look, it's dark. Power is off to everything here. Lots of businesses uh, sustained a lot of damage. But, of course, behind me, you can see one of the most evident ones here, the Home Depot. Uh, I'll step out of the way so you can kind of get a look at this, but the center part of this entire building is destroyed. You've got uh, just twisted metal where the roof used to be, and, you know, I mean, obviously, as you guys were talking about, the National Weather Service comes out, they make the official determination, but man, in the years that I've been covering these, this looks exactly like a tornado ripping right through the center of this Home Depot, and, uh, and again, the, the best part about this is that no one was hurt, no one was injured. Uh, is not everything that, I'm just going by the patterns that the elite dish out so what I'm picking up on is that there's something going on in Texas there's something that has to do with these Home Depots because this is what they reference and then this is October 18th again today's the 21st Trump has a tweet that references Texas going out. So what I said was a high terror attack during the Cowboys Eagles Sunday night, October 20th, 2019 explosion. What happened was natural disaster of a tornado that I called Tornado Click back in almost four years ago. Uh, and I was saying that the Cowboys Eagles game and then they would get destroyed. If you want to be a millionaire, you know, you can bet a million bucks guaranteed that the Eagles are going to get destroyed. And that's exactly what happened on that day. And this was two days prior. This was October 18th, 2019. And I was laughing at destruction October 20th, 2019. And then the very next day. That's when you seen that the Home Depot was badly damaged. After they gave me a shout out. Homes with roof damage. Garland police say they have no reports of any serious injuries. Alan. Shiloh at Robin Lane. So this was like the beginning of the signs, miracles and wonders that you were seeing in the clouds that started back around in October 21, 2019. And in 2020, I've really stuck with Jonathan Click all year with all those unusual things that were happening. And then now, this year, it just escalated to a level that I can't comprehend this going in the art museum with you two in the videos and, and a piece of sand stuck in the, a piece of glass stuck in the sand. It's like the sand of the seashore. That will be the number 
of your descendants will be as the sand of the seashore. So the sand of the seashore took place this year and it was at Wildwood Wildwood uh, Nipples Woodaway Seaport so you didn't ask for that but I'm going to give it to you I love that then Solomon awoke verse 15 and indeed it had been a dream you know how it is when you wake up and you go wow I was a wild dream. I wonder what it means. It could mean nothing. It could mean you had tacos last night. Now, May 4th, 2023, what Skip is talking about and what from, from what I've learned is people can be talking about things that are, that are going to happen in the future and they also know that uh, you're going to be watching their videos and so they'll reference things because when God already knows your life inside and out from beginning to end, everything's already been recorded anyway. The angels have uh, access to, well, I think the witches have access to it too. The alien technology, the AI technology. There's access to recordings of people's lives, which is more realistic than fiction and too many jalapenos with it it could be completely unrelated or the Lord could speak to you in a dream now I get this question a lot hey I had this dream and some people's dreams are weird and I don't chide them for it because well I have weird dreams I just don't go telling everybody what they are I do hey I had a dream I um, had a dream that I went in the art museum and Bono used my footage 40 years ago in videos. That was a pretty crazy dream. I also had another dream that I was walking down Wildwood and I met Jacob Israel. I met uh, Jonathan Cleck on the boardwalk, Christopher Greenway boardwalk, and I met Will Smith and Jacob Israel turning into spaghetti at three o'clock when I said I'd meet you there, Maury Pierce. Yeah, I got some crazy, unusual dreams that somehow I'm able to record them. Imagine that, if you can record your dreams and then show them back later on in the future and you're in control of your dreams, that'd be something else. But they'll have this dream, they go, what does it mean? Of course, there's no way I can know what it means. It's not like I have this gift of telling you what you dreamt last night and what it <laughs> Yeah, no. Nah. But there are people that have this gift that they know what, you're, what you dreamt last night. It's Daniel's job to interpret the dream. It means that, that's Daniel. But it could mean something, and that's when you want to wait on it, wait for further information. You always want to have a file in your heart called waiting for further information. May 4th, 2023. This is before, this is 10 days before Wildwood, the experience that I had. This is just a, it's like a document of the things that took place. For those of you that already seen it take place before it did and so i'm gonna float it down on these large may 11 ships down to wherever you tell me where where it ended up he went from probably the port of tyre down the mediterranean coast to the seaport of joppa that was the old testament seaport uh, in biblical times seaport uh, today joppa is just south of tel aviv you can go visit joppa as well and see where Jonah uh, got on a boat to flee from the presence of the Lord from. You can see where... Um, uh, Three days later... Yeah. Yeah. 
May 14th, 2023. The seismic explosion, the last one called Boat, B-O-A-T. I was saying, everybody, it's time to get in the boat. At 258, it was 12 in the video. And everybody, boat time, you know, that the last one called boat, B-O-A-T. I was saying every 12, 12. So in two more minutes, it'll be three o'clock. And that's when 12, you see spaghetti the video with Will Smith lining up video. perfectly. I mean, uh, bail air. Now it's three o'clock. Bell was Bell Air. Bell Air. I'll see you around three. Well, that's weird because I was just at the gym before taping the show. Before she sent me that little at Jacob tweet response. So there's the spaghetti. There's the two minutes straight. That's where it started getting weird at two fifty eight. Where Jonah. Uh got on a boat to flee from the presence of the Lord from. You can see where um, uh, these sh ships would have come into port back. Port back. Port back. Port Wildwood Sea Port mentioning. Holding on to those two horns. So this is this is the live, this is the actual footage right here, where I'm live and I'm playing a pre-recorded video of Jacob Israel. At around the same time, you know that this big explosion, the last one called boat. So he's pointing directly at the boat in Wildwood Seaport Nibbles Woodaway Pier. Yo, a T. I was saying, everybody, it's time to get in the boat, get out of the boat. It's like, you know, it's kind of like getting in the ark. It was kind of like the uh, the herald to everybody to get ready for the storms that were coming. Not like Barabbas. So there's the Jonah reference, Barabbas reference, Jonah reference. We're sitting down eating lunch at Seaport Pier. It was around three. And when we were eating there, there was a table, and the only table that was there after I found a piece of glass in the sand of the sea, because it was finishing off the second half of that video with the horses, wild horses. I don't know where that clip is. But anyway, we were sitting there, and the, and the table was a, a rabbit, a bar was there. So that was another reference as I'm sitting at the seaport as... Uh, getting help from Skip with tying tying that together, the seaport pier, three days beforehand. So it's, again, it's, you're on the same page with, with uh, Jacob Israel, and you're on the same page with, with that church. Seaport pier. What's that? They, they number the tables on there. Like that. Make it easier for yeah, the numbers yeah. with tables. Tables with numbers on them. The addresses? Look, look at the one. It says bar. All the other ones have numbers except for that one. Two, four, three, four, 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 five. Four. satellites blanketing the so it's pretty that's pretty crazy how that all that lines up the same day the same time it's gonna be a thing you know why because we got an x thing too disease x that's the next one everything's got to be x and that's that's what i was uh Recording wearing a Bel Air shirt, and I explained to him what Bell was. 
which was with the X at. And go visit Joppa as well and see where Jonah uh, got on a boat to flee from the presence of the Lord from. Three weeks ago, May 11th, 2023, you're talking about Jonah. You're talking about him fleeing from the presence of the Lord, which Jonah and show in whales a massive fish. black hole and getting on the boat people are calling out for barabbas remember the story about jesus barabbas and we got the movie barbie coming out right now as i moved him barbie the roller coaster ride and it's all about the boat saying everybody it's time to get in the boat get out of the boat it's like you know it's kind of like getting in the ark and that was may 14 2023 so what skip is talking about is three days later or at 10 days no wait presence of the area three weeks may 11th three days before went down there and he's talking about noah or uh, Jonah trying to get in the boat. There's a boat <laughs> in the boat, and and everything else that it's just these are my dreams. So I'm just telling you what my dreams are. Here down the Mediterranean coast to the seaport of Joppa. That was the old test seaport of Joppa, and that's where we're at. We're at the seaport, Ajapa, Barabbas. The addresses? Having lunch? It says bar. All the islands have numbers. At the seaport? At the seaport? Yeah. I'm just thinking as a rest. And skip. Where it ended up, he went from probably the port of Tyre down the Mediterranean coast to the seaport of. Joppa, that was the air down the Mediterranean coast to the seaport of Joppa. That was the old Testament seaport. That's just it. This is what it this this is the feeling that it gives to opposition. Enough. Enough. Hey, Joppa is just south of Tel Aviv. You can go visit Joppa as well and see where Jonah uh, got on a boat to flee the from the presence numbers. of the Lord from. You can see where um, uh, these sh ships like would the, uh, the have come into port back in these ready. ancient times. Kind of like the so, uh, the Hiram time, gave Solomon, verse you know, 10, the, the, the cedar and cypress. The last one called Boat, B-O-A-T. I was saying, everybody, it's time to get in the boat, get out of the boat. It's like, you know, it's kind of like getting in the Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 cores of wheat as food. That's 130,000 bushels of wheat. That's for his household. So I'm going to go with a fresh visit. Christ said, what? What do you say? What? Walked, not hinge. Times out, I don't remember what I wrote. Cabal City, good for nothing city. Reminds me as if they're talking about Philly. Gracie said, uh, I saw a beast rising out of the sea. So, I saw a beast rising out of the sea also. Here's one of them. It's a serpent rising out of the sea. And then I seen another one from north to south. And then here's another one rising out of the sea. As you can see the travel marks in 
the propellers are going up. This reptilian here, T Rex, with the eye here. So this beast is rising up from the sea. The Bahamas is here and Nassau. Nassau also has a thumbs up and that's what Jacob does all the time. He's always saying, hit the like, give me a thumbs up. Because here's the old thumbs up. It's like a boxing glove at the same time. So that's NASA, Nassau, Carmichael Village, where the beast, well, the dolphin, it's also a dolphin too, because a dolphin, that's where Joseph and his, uh, I think, so he found his brothers a dolphin down there in Miami. But before that, the beast has the happy little Bahamas baby in there. You can see that it's clearly a happy baby. His eye is here. His mouth is here. I mean, wouldn't you be a happy baby? His nose is here. His ears are up here. If you were in the Bahamas, that'd be nice to live there. It will be nice to live wherever. But in the meantime, I'm a broke buster. I got to go to work every day. And I'm doing this for free for the past six years straight. And these are the clouds. Look. Look at this. Look. It's the clouds from heaven. All good things come from above. All I'm doing is showing you what God is inspiring me to show everybody my experience and none of it scripted i mean it may have been written about as a script but none of it scripted as i'm going through it for the first time in my memory but apparently everybody else <laughs> already knows what i've been going through apparently bono absolutely knows As he's writing on the ground as soon as I flip the camera he's gonna be like oh whoa whoa Robin whoa as I as he stops with the same exact at the same exact moment the same exact color scheme it's like a turquoise green and he's writing on writing on the ground like Jesus with the crack in the sand and you get the crack in the sand this is this is what it's like to go into art museum, push the X at record button, play Bono's video with the X recorder, the X app. I call it the X app, and how identical that was. You can say, your mind can tell you, that's ah, kind of coincidental, but. Even though the, the, the line is in the same exact spot as Jesus writing on it, the same color scheme, but you would have to see more, like 17 minutes straight of everything being also identical. And then you can't deny that it's all perfectly the same sh shape, shadow, size, color scheme. Then you'd have to ask yourself, how is that even possible that someone can take your footage that you just did this year and have it 30 to 40 years ago in their music videos? 
I mean, even as my wife starts to point at the poster, the this this pointer here is pointing at the same time, and she's pointing with a white tip because her fingernail polish is white. And then you get this same pointing type arrow, white turning black. And look, and look at them. Look, you see him drawing on the ground, right? Isn't that what Jesus just did? Or what he was doing in the picture? And he's even getting down even more to kind of like, <laughs> Robin. <clears throat> Robin. Right? He, he couldn't be any more down at the same exact opposite mirror image, identical at the same time as I'm showing you footage for the art museum. For the first time in my life, I'm walking through, pushing record on the X app, recording what I'm doing, and then playing a video, a bino, and a few of the videos I didn't even, it was just a song, it wasn't even the video. And then when I went and looked back at the video to match up with the scenery as I was walking with that song playing from 30 something years ago, it lined up exactly with what I was doing. And it seems like it's only a dream can actually make that come to pass. And then you got the blue. And the blue is moving in the screen like smoke in Bono's video. And then in my video, it's like the camera is making it, is making it uh, move. You see it clearly as my my side over here is moving and then Bono's side over there, the blue smoke screen is moving also. And he's leaning down like he's writing in the sand, just like Jesus is writing, but he's back, but it's back to back. And it's red, you got the red scene up here and the red in a, in a, over on that side before you flipped it. Everybody's wearing red. And as soon as I flipped them up, guess what? You do, what was the last thing you seen Bono doing? You seen him on the ground like this, right? Drawing. What's the next thing you see him doing after I flip the phone? Why are you going to see him flipping back like this? Like, whoa. Huh. Look at that. As I flipped them, and the crack is in the ground, and then also you got the same exact turquoise type green color going through at the bottom at the same exact time. I'm not trying to convince anybody of anything. You can see clearly for yourself, or your mind will tell you, mm -mm. nah, it's impossible. So you won't believe because it's impossible. But that's the whole point. Anything that's impossible that does happen is an actual miracle. And you can either take this or leave it. Even the color scheme in the brown and the black and the tan, tan arm, tan floor. And then I said, so, so what? Anyway, so I seen a, I saw a beast rising out of the sea. I was standing on the sand of the seashore and I seen a piece of glass in the sea, like right here where it ends, it ends right here. 
and it was around 12 12 in the video when Jacob Israel pointed at the boat to get in the boat get out of the boat it's time to get in the boat three days earlier Skip was talking about Jonah trying to flee from God uh, with the boat and then when I'm at Wildwood Nibbles Woodaway the artwork on the side it's like street writing like graffiti was showing the dolphins and um, and the heart the two hands becoming one and I said I'd meet you there around three and that's exactly when Will Smith turned into spaghetti at 3 p.m. exactly right there that was 3 p.m. it doesn't I don't have it recorded up there but the timing of it and I was once I catch up to you at Seaport Pier Wildwoods Nibble Woodaway boy that's gonna be a strong motif so you will rob yourself of a certain amount of joy and blessing if you keep yourself away from the book of Revelation because it has the promise so it is the revelation of Jesus Christ by the way do you know what the word revelation means it, it's a Greek word apocalyptic Yep, it means an unveiling, an unveiling or a disclosure. It's a it's a display, here, of uh, if you will, a showing of Jesus Christ. So I want to show you Jesus Christ in the art room, going into room 100, 100 percent no line. That's the same room. That Jonathan Click, when he was flipped upside down, he was reading his tags. He's like, Lord, I don't understand what that means. 100% no lion? It doesn't make sense. So he said, turn it upside down. And then that's when I just turned Bino upside down in room 100. That was the room right there. The art museum for the first time in my life recording with YouTube soundtrack in the background. How did I know to play that? I don't even... It's, it's, it's a dream. So anyway, uh, and then the band plays. Going into room 100, there's a display. Starting at 2435. It is the revelation of Jesus Christ. By the way, do you know what the word revelation means? It's the Greek word apocalypsis. It means an unveiling or a disclosure, a display, if May you will, 22nd, a showing of Jesus Christ. 2023. So this was after the the Wildwood experience. Apocalypsis. Unfortunately, that word, apocalypsis, which has become our English word apocalypse, has a very negative meaning. The dictionary defines apocalypse as the complete final destruction of the world. It actually in its original means an unveiling or uncovering. And in the New Testament it's used about 18 times. Whenever it speaks of a person, it talks about a person becoming visible so that people can see him. And then, so being an accident waiting to happen and then the band plays you're an accident waiting to happen. so here's the best way to understand the book of revelation in terms of this definition if you have an artist who is hired let's say by the city government to make a statue to display downtown at city hall City Hall, you know, you know, well, City Hall in Philly is uh, the William Penn building. City Hall. You have a statue here. The statue is of William Penn. William Penn is facing masonic temple and he's standing on top of an eight-pointed star like like lucifer that's his back 
he's facing the Masonic Temple over here, Philadelphia Art Museum. I mean, uh, Philadelphia City Hall, a statue. But I don't know if that's what Skip's talking about, but just remind, when I show you things, it's just what it reminds me of. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's, you know, what it actually is. And they pay him a lot of money, and he's worked many months, maybe even years, on the statue. And it's de the day to dedicate the statue, and so everybody's gathered in Civic Plaza, and the, the statue is draped, so you can't see it. The mayor says a few words, the artist then comes up and says, this is how I did it and why I did it, and this is what the statue means. And then the band plays. They say, Peace and The band would play, and at the precise moment, the veil was pulled off the statue, and it was apocalypsis. It was revealed. Wow. It was displayed. So in the book of Revelation, that's what we see happening. It's as if God the Father says, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Jesus Christ. I was just finishing the second half of the video. And the wind was blowing so hard, we had to go back lay along the side of the, the port because I asked you to show in the horse's ass. And on to that horse comes out. So he's saying who's going to ride your wild horses and then the second portion of the video I'm showing you a wild ride that you're riding up and down and then it, it stops here in wild wood. So who's going to ride your wild horses and the only reason I re was recording that is because I found a piece of sand, I mean a piece of glass in the sea, in the glass piece of glass on the beach that was left there like an accident waiting to happen so as soon as I seen that it reminded me of Bono's second portion of the video and I feel like I completed both both halves for free right at the moment 153 153 is in the video or it doesn't really matter where I stopped but and then even in this video with the horses, I recorded like five different times, five takes, and it wasn't right. And I went with this one. This was the one I went with. And then when I'm going around the corner, Bono's talking about cutting, going the corner, come back around the corner, I go, I'm going around again. And then before that, uh, Bono is hopping. He's like hopping on my horse and then going around the edge in the same direction. Watch, just watch. In the blue sea, Not, nothing that I'm showing you is anything that I knew was even there. But as I'm showing it, and then I'm showing you here the blue sea, the second portion of the video. The first portion I didn't know about. Second part, I kind of understand. That's why I went to the beach. So at that exact moment, I just spun around the corner. I spun around the corner over here in the video. Let's 
It's small, but right here he's hopping, he's hopping on the horse. And then his nose is showing the same exact nose at the same time that the horse is showing his nose. And he's looking back at Bono because he just hopped on him. When I said just go, I didn't even know the lyrics of the song before I put that in there before and then I went and looked at all the lyrics and then I had the lyrics running down. As I'm saying just go, he's saying just uh, something or another, another just. No, I just can't close. And then here he goes in the same direction as the fence. And then he's turning around as I'm turning around the corner. So it all lines up perfectly, amazingly. It's my dream. Apparently I'm just recording it. And it's so perfect that I, I have to be dreaming. Even in this section here, he's going to proceed to turn into the same type of a sand, and, uh, the dark sand negative image in reverse. That's what the book of Revelation does. It presents Jesus Christ. Now back to Martin Luther for just a moment. Martin Luther, even just in uh, the Philadelphia Art Museum, Martin Luther King Boulevard, is one of the intersections to intersect Martin Luther King Junior Drive. It started here. It started in, in here. You could say this is the East Gate. Because if you're, well, I mean, it's the West Side. But if you're going in, you're going to, you're going into the East. You can't go any, the West is back behind you. You can't go any more but East. If you go into the East Gate right here. And that's where I went in. That gate right, right there. All the, the magic happened with Bono and the art museum. And then Derek Rose about eight days later said, showed you that in this video, nothing's a coincidence. When Martin Luther wrote his preface to the New Testament, he took the New Testament, translated it into the language of the people, which for him was German, in 1522. Um, in the preface to that translation, he said this concerning the book of Revelation. My spirit cannot accommodate itself to this book. For me, this is reason enough not to think highly of it. Christ is neither taught nor known in it." Close quote. Got to be honest with you, when I first read that, this is what I said. I said, huh? <laughs> That's what I said. Huh? Go ahead and say that. No, say it like I just said it. Huh? Yeah, that's what I said. Martin, are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, I got the... Are you serious? Either way, you may or may not find this interesting. 
people did last night, so if you don't mind, I'm going to share it with you today. For thousands of years, people have wondered, what does Jesus look like? What does Jesus look like? Right? And there's not a physical description in all of the Bible what Jesus looks like, except one, and it happens to be in Revelation chapter 1. It's the only depiction that we get of what Jesus looked like. And if this is Jesus in his second coming glorified state, not his earthly state. But you have all these artists, you know, making Jesus look like this or that. When I grew up, it was the... All these artists. Here's one artist drawing what Jesus looks like. for Jesus that was depicted, you know, his hair was sort of beautifully coiffed, you know, down, layered, a little bit blonde streaks in the front because he's been out on the waves, and it's like, okay, I can relate to this Jesus. But what happened to the Middle Eastern Jesus, right? So everybody sort of depicts him differently. John sees him, though he had seen him once before, 60 years before this, in the flesh, the gal... You know, the number 60 or 6... 60 or 600 or 6,000. The, the, the important number is the, the first number itself, um, not necessarily the zeros behind it. Galilean preacher, the, the one who healed and raised people from the dead, the one who himself raised from the dead. Here he sees a very different Jesus, a completely glorified Jesus. He sees his hair as white as wool, similar to the Daniel chapter 7 vision of the Ancient of Days. He sees his eyes with a flame of fire, that penetrating gaze that he can see into men's souls. So that's what he writes first in this division, right? There's a flow to the future. Interesting, because uh, at around the same time, you know, that this explosion, the last one called Boat, B-O-A-T. I was saying, everybody, it's time to get in the boat, get out of the boat. It's like, gee, you know, it's kind of like getting in the ark. It's the things that he sees, Jesus. Second, he writes the things which are. That's chapter 2 and 3. Chapter 2 and 3, John records an evaluation of seven local churches that existed at the time in Asia Minor. The evaluation is made by none other than Jesus Christ. That's why the words are in red. This is where I wish I had you right now in Jerusalem, because I would be able to point out where Adonijah did this. So in Jerusalem, when you go down to the city of David where, where Jerusalem first started, and you can, you can actually stand in the palace, what they believe to be the palace of King David. They've discovered it. You can look down into the valley, the Kidron Valley, and on the other side of the Kidron Valley is an Arab village called Siloam, and there's a rocky escarpment, kind of a, a sharp face, where two valleys meet, uh, the, the Kidron Valley and the Hinnom Valley. Where they meet, uh, there is... Uh, another spring called the spring, you can, you can actually stand, and on the other side of the Kidron Valley is an Arab village called Siloam, and there's a rocky escarpment, kind of a... A sharp face where two valleys meet, uh, the, the Kidron Valley and the Hinnom Valley. Where they meet, uh, there is uh, another spring called the spring or in Rogel. And on that rock that you can still see today is where this feast took place. So it wasn't far from David's palace wasn't far from the, the city of David, just outside the city and the Hinnom Valley, where they meet. Uh, there is 
uh, another spring called the spring or N Rogel. And on that rock that you can still see today is where this feast took place. So it wasn't far from David's palace. It wasn't far from the, the city of David, just outside the city, outside the city wall, just across the valley. If we were there, you could, I could point it out to you uh, today. So he didn't go far, but verse 10, he did not invite Nathan the prophet, Benaiah, the mighty men, or Solomon, his brother. So Nathan spoke to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, saying, Have you heard that Adonijah, the son of Haggith, has become king, and David our Lord does not know it? What we learn